So we've uncovered the fireplace and I've gone to the shop to get some, you know, materials and stuff to restore this thing. So this is what we're doing today. We've got our dust sheet down. I've given a little, little clean up there. As you can see, the bricks are still a bit sooty. Yeah, sooty. And I've given it a sweep. But what I need to do now is get the hoover and hoover up all this, um, what are they called? Dust, crumbs, uh, yeah, grit. So I'm gonna clean the grit uh, and then I'm gonna paint it with white masonry paint. And then I'm gonna put black paint on this and a little bit of gold trim along here. That'd be nice there. And it says the bath. So they would have heated this up with logs and coal and stuff. And then the heat would have went out there. And if you look around the corner here, there's a couple of pipes. To move that out of the way. There's a couple of pipes coming out the side there. And that would have connected into a bath full of water. And the fire would have heated the water up. This, this radiator, this, this house is built in 1936. So we're looking at about... 70, 6, 80, you know, around about 90 years old. Uh, can't I do the exact math, but it's about 90 years old. So yeah, so that's what we're doing today. So we better get to it. Hooveration. So just hang out there. Look at that down there. Getting all those little And you need a spoon just to get to those high of reach places. There we go. All right, so just taking a quick break. Classic beans on toast. Always made by Bodge's wife, Bodgette. Mmm, banging beans. Sorry, cheesy beans on toast. Banging beans. So the next stage in this process is to give these bricks a scrub. We scrub off that soot, and then we want to... So the next stage in this is we're gonna scrub off the soot, and then we're gonna give it a nice good old paint of white masonry. So here we have our exterior masonry paint from none other than Wilco's. You know I'm a big fan of Wilco's. And we've got some Hammerite, none other than, it's not Wilco's, but it's from Leyland. Leyland have everything. Wilco's is a little bit of a knockoff cheap brand, but Leyland, Hammerite, eight year protection, no need to prime or undercoat, quick drying, easy to use, you can, Apply it directly to rust. So we're gonna restore this bad boy. Look here, this right here is English heritage. Like I said earlier, over 90 years old. I mean, people just covered it up. Oh, there's a nail there, missed that one. Oh, no, dust in the lid. Oh, 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 oh. That's what happens when you just improvise. All right. Now that has just created a little bit more dust. Get the hooveration on it. Lovely. All right, so we've got the hammerite for this. I'm gonna give that a little gold trim. I'm gonna paint the um, pipes here black as well. And we're gonna have white on the outside. So here we go, just dip me brush. Oh, got dust in it, look. Such a plonker. Right, now this is, oh shit. Sorry, bad language. Poopy. I just put my elbow in the lid. 
Classic, right? Get that out of the way. Put that, where shall I put that? Oh, oh, oh. I'll just put it there. Right, here we go. So I'm gonna set that up over there. Look at this, restoration. The fumes come on off of that. I'll be high by the end of the day. So. Nice and gentle. Don't want to get it onto the pipes. Well, actually it doesn't matter because I'm planking it black in it. Oh, just get it done now. Right, can't be fannying about. Right, here we go. Oh, my elbow's stuck to the sheet, right. Look at this, get that in there. Look at that, taking a step back, it's already looking beautiful. Just giving it a paint, yeah, hammerite, lovely black, just. Good.